everybody a welcome in. And let's get into part two of the interviews regarding Nicola Boli. And let's touch on a surveillance ring cam a CCTV the morning as she disappeared. Her best friend Emma White's deleted interviews. And let's not forget about the helicopter. And with that, uh, let's get into it. It's amazing. I would probably say 70% of the feedback I get believe that Paul Ansel and Emma had something to do with a Nicola a falling or ending up in the a wire river. Let me just go back to the beginning for 30 seconds. On January 27th, 2023, Nicola went missing from a village in Lancashire, Northern England. She was 45 years old, a mortgage advisor. She dropped off her two girls at school that morning and then took a willow for a walk. She logged on to a call on a work number from her phone at 9.01 a.m. The meeting ended at 9.30 a.m., but Nicola remained logged into the call. Five minutes later, her phone and Willow were found by the bench. Nicola was gone. What started off with the CCTV footage of the morning that she mysteriously uh, disappeared. So here's Nicola uh, leaving that morning. You can see Paul on the left uh, getting the girls in. So I do apologize because obviously he was out there. But like, she never looks over at him. Of course we cannot hear what's being said. But she puts the hatch down, literally gets in her car, and she leaves. I would love to hear what they were talking about because right there he could have been saying have a good day babe love you i'll see you when you get back i actually know the address to where a nicola and a paul live in my next video i am going to go over some of paul's financial records regarding some businesses that have been closed down almost like he keeps throwing shit at the wall to see what will stick as far as a business is. We'll have a drive-by and take a look at their house too. What do you guys think is going on just from watching this ring cam footage? Does it seem a little distant or once again, is it because I just do not like a Paul considering he just absolutely rubs me the wrong way? I mean, even though we never actually saw the big searches going on. There were helicopters, dogs, lines of police officers, drones up and down the banks of the wire, in the wire, walking in the wire. How do you miss a woman that has just gone a missing? It's not like she was missing for a week. Before we get into Emma's deleted scenes, Let's listen one more time the helicopter episode with Paul and the girls. On Saturday, like us, Nicola Bully's family spotted a police search helicopter above the village where she went missing. Her partner Paul shared the moment with Sky News when their youngest daughter Sophia saw it too from the car window. Nicola Bully's daughters, Harriet and Sophia, are nine and six. Who remembers that helicopter flying over and Paul filming and the girls asking if they were looking for her a mummy? It just bothered me that it was so early. And Paul tells these girls at six and eight that's what they're looking for. That part bothered me too. Either Paul is a complete narcissist chauvinistic cocky with his personality always or there is just something that is not right all right uh, last uh, but not least uh, let's go have a look at her friend emma white's uh, deleted scenes uh, from her interviews 
Put, in, in, put yourself in Paul's shoes. He's got this underlying worry going on, sadness, heartache. But for those two little girls, he has to be so strong. Yeah. Um, it's just something that none of us could, could possibly no, imagine. you can't. And um, Nikki is the most beautiful person. You see the pictures of her. So she's beautiful on the outside, but she's also the kindest soul on the inside. She's thoughtful. She's caring. And then you add her and Paul together, add a little bit of magic, and they've created these two beautiful humans who are just wanting to know where their mummy is. We are appealing today. As I said, it's a tough milestone today. Anybody with any information to help these guys, we just need something to... It's not making sense. We've got no information. I saw her on the, on the morning, the surreal, as we dropped the kids off at school. I gave her a quick wave because we're going on our busy, busy routines of the day. Um, because it spoke to her the day before. So you're in, in, regular, in regular contact with Yeah, absolutely, with her. yeah. Um, and, and speaking to other friends of hers, um, it seems that this is, is completely out of character to just disappear without saying anything to anyone. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you, you, we look at the routine she's done on the day. She's on a, on a work call. She's quickly arranged a play date just one minute before. We're seeing it at the weekend. They've got plans for next... Do you know, it's all... Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't make sense. Today was obviously milestone, seven days. Um, we thought if somebody, for whatever reason, hasn't seen the media, let's get out on that road and spread that word, get Nikki's face out there, contact details. We had a big blowing man just to, just to create attention. Um, and actually, I can say it has received an influx of calls to 101. Um, the liaison officer with Paul has called him a short time ago, and they're looking into all the calls that they're receiving as we speak. So you're saying that today, probably as a direct result of what you guys have been doing, the police are saying they've had more calls, more information. Absolutely, and, and we have to thank you guys for, for you've helped that as obviously mentally as, as mentally as well. Um, but it, it's, it's sort of spurred us on again. It's given us that hope again inside that something's going to come. Um, so we're feeling as if we, we, can, we can go again because I have to say today has been tough for everyone. Seven days and absolutely no clue how people can just vanish. It's, it's still, a, I've mentioned before, it's this surreal experience of. I don't, a bit like Paul, I don't really know. You, you, as you said, you've got this this feeling inside and I can't, I can't explain it. Um, but I have to say the hope was diminishing today, but I heard that torch of hope is sort of shining again and giving us just that glimmer of hope that somebody knows something, seen something, whatever it is, we just have to get Nikki home to those two little girls because they're now really missing her. I honestly believe that if Emma was really crying and shedding any tears, I did not see any, her eyelashes would probably be stuck to her eyebrows. But that is my opinion. I don't know what happened to Nicola. I don't know how she ended up in the wire and not seen for 23 days with that amount of people and helicopters and drones and boats and radars and sonar. I mean... How do you miss her? She was gone for 10 minutes. People were at the phone. They found the dog. They knew she was missing. The police came. They started to search. And why is Paul never with the family? Why was he never at a, a news conference? I don't know. Please drop your thoughts on this one. I mean, I just think about this for one a minute. You're on a conference call. You're walking your dog. You are seen on the CCTV from that corner place in the upper field with the phone out in front of you, walking Willow and just going about your business, your conference. Your phone is found on the bench. Willow is found pacing between the bench and the fence. The lead is found between the bench and the wire. If it was an accident and she fell into the wire, why is her phone on the bench? Okay, let's say something happened to Willow in the water and she ran down and left the phone on the bench. Why was Willow not wet? Somebody uh, tell me one part of this that makes sense. I will listen, but I'm not buying it. I mean, I may buy it. We are going to catch up, a touch on the comments, hopefully a sooner than later. I have been a busy, a jumping, a real life, a hurdles. But with that, guys, it is a wrap. Everyone, uh, thank you for coming in. 
uh, please make sure you click that like, uh, the subscribe, and uh, the bell for notification uh, so you do not miss the next time we drop a video and hopefully uh, go live. Everybody, uh, have a good day or a good night wherever you are in uh, the world and stay uh, vigilant. I am out.